the land. We love it. It's all around us. Lush fields, vibrant vegetation, marvelous meadows, fragrant flowers. Just looking at it right now. It's beautiful, isn't it? Amazing. We couldn't do without the land. But guess what? Even though the land is all around us, we had to improve it, right? We just had to improve upon it, right? these improvements how about these hmm. I'm sure this scene looks very familiar Pollution is the addition of undesirable or harmful matter to the land. This makes the land unfit for healthy living and reduces the use of the land by man for agricultural, residential, recreational, or for any other purposes. Land pollution may be caused by the dumping of solid waste and sewage in vacant lots along the roadside, on beaches and in backyards. The burying of toxic waste, not just radioactive, but waste in general, for example from the bauxite industry or the sugarcane industry. It can be caused also from the improper use of pesticides and fertilizers. And of course, as you saw before, oil spills. The disposal of normally solid or semi-solid materials resulting from human and animal activities that are useless, unwanted or hazardous. For example, the rubble and construction along roadsides and beaches. Maybe that pile of sand or gravel from your recent construction that's outside on the road in front of your house. And of course, from quarrying for building materials. That causes the scarring of the landscape, the landscape. Some even call that visual pollution. Land pollution is harmful because it encourages the breeding of rodents and flies, which contaminate food, causing illnesses such as gastroenteritis, and of course, mosquitoes, which can cause dengue and malaria, and as we now know, chick V and zig V. It also poisons the soil and makes it useless for agriculture and we depend so heavily on agriculture in countries like Jamaica.
land pollution causes offensive odors. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe you've passed through some markets in Spanish Town, or maybe downtown, especially the fish markets, and all that underground. Mm. Ugh. We lose money because less tourists will use contaminated beaches. Like who wants to who wants to walk on the beach and step on glass and various other things, syringes. Chemicals and fertilizers may go underground and get into our groundwater, which we may eventually drink. What can be done about it? Well, there's solid waste disposal, and by that I mean sanitary landfills, such as the Riverton Dump. Still the most common way to get rid of the solid waste, and 70% of solid waste is chucked away and buried. Out of sight, out of mind, right? Right? As far as the eye can see. Garbage, garbage, garbage. It's not just a pollution for the eyes or the nose, but eventually someone is going to light a fire. And you know the damage that that normally has. What can be done about it? As we said before, there is the use of solid waste disposals in landfills such as the Riverton Dump. But one day, maybe in our lifetime, that Riverton Dump is going to be filled and can't take even a penny more. Another option that is used is incineration. Burning reduces the bulk of solid waste by about 75%, but burning also releases toxins into the air, which is known as, yeah, you know it, Air. Come on, figure it out. Many countries now practice recycling. That is, the collection organizations are requiring those that generate solid waste to keep bottles, cans, newspapers, cardboard, and other recyclable items separate from the other waste. Special trucks will pick up this waste and cart it to transfer stations and recycling facilities, thus lessening the load at incinerators and landfills. question is now that you have been armed with this information what are you going to do about it the power is yours <sighs> why do I even do that I know 75% of you have never even watched an episode of Captain Planet why did I do that anyways you can google it and find out who Captain Planet is and maybe you'll enjoy the episodes Alright, until we hit another interesting geography topic, this has been Mr. Henry.